Blow molding makes hollow, thin-walled plastic parts such as bottles and other containers. Once tooling is complete, manufacturing these items is rapid and cost-efficient, but prototyping tends to be slow and costly. So blow molding companies often skipped prototype molding. The same is true for short-run production. Additive manufacturing, or 3D printing, is an effective prototyping process when evaluating blow molded part designs, but 3D printed materials cannot simulate the properties and appearance of common blow molded plastics such as polyethylene, polypropylene, PET, and polycarbonate. Also, long and sometimes complex secondary processes are required to finish 3D printed parts to mimic the appearance of production goods. To keep cost and time at a minimum while manufacturing blow molded parts and production materials, substitute polyjet 3D printing for mold making. Polyjet molds work for extrusion, injection, and injection stretch blow molding operations. All of these processes use air pressure to inflate heated plastics so that it conforms to the mold cavity. That's how blow molding can make hollow, thin walled parts. For extrusion blow molding, a tube of plastic, which is called a parason, is pinched between the mold halves. Injection blow molding adds an additional step. A plastic preform is injection molded and then transferred to the blow mold. Injection stretch blow molding stretches the injection molded preform after entering the blow mold. The mold making process begins with mold design, and only a few minor adjustments are required when using polyjet. Next, print the blow mold. The printed molds can be freestanding or mounted in a mold base. In many cases, the printed molds are ready for manufacturing. But when appearance is critical, a little light sanding and buffing of the mold cavities is an option. Next, mount the mold on the blow molding machine and start molding parts. Since the plastic polyjet molds don't dissipate heat as well as metal molds, occasionally blow air on the mold halves to cool them. That is the only required adjustment to the molding process. After molding, trim any flash and remnants of the parason. Your blow molded parts are now ready for functional review or product distribution. Replacing machined metal blow molds with polyjet molds allows companies to make bottles, containers, and many other products in end-use materials with up to 95% reduction in time and cost. For further information, contact Stratasys Application Support.